Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple cloud formation template. So to write a cloud formation template, there are some parameters you should uh, use. So here AWS template format version. This is the uh, syntax you need to follow. And this is the version which we are going to use. So it, it is a syntax you need to write as it is. But this is your optional uh, parameter. Next one would be the description. This is also a syntax, nothing but a description you should write as it is. But this description, you can write whatever you want, the value of description. And the description also is not a mandatory field. You can write your cloud formation template without a description also. And the next one would be the resources tab. This is as a part of syntax and uh, this is a mandatory parameter without resources uh, syntax or parameter you cannot write a cloud formation template yaml cloud formation template it is mandatory under that one we are creating ec2 instance to my ec2 instance i'm naming it as a web server this is uh, not a uh, syntax value you can give whatever you wish next one would be the type is also part of syntax under this one, we are giving two spaces and we are writing as a type because in YAML format, spaces are giving the uh, uh, proper syntax. We don't have the uh, semicolons or uh, brackets, right? So here it is EC2 instance, EC, uh, AWS resource and EC2 instance type. And properties, under properties, you need to give the inputs which are required to create an EC2 instance. As you know, to create an EC2 instance, you must have the AMIID and you need to select the EC2 instance type and you should provide the TPA name, security group name, disk. Okay, these all are the resources which are required to create a EC2 instance. But here we are giving some of the mandatory resources that is instance ID, instance type and TPA name. And security group is optional. If you want to specify, you can specify. Otherwise, it is going to take a default, right? I'm going to execute this one. And this is, I have AMID, I have co collected it from our EC2 console. Nothing but I just went over here and uh, launch an instance if you see. Here you can collect your AMID. That is what I have specified. I have given 598, sorry, 5A89. That is our Red Hat one, T2 Micro. And Mumbai keeper, this keeper is already in my account. It's more like a hard coded template. So let's execute this one. And uh, in previous demo, I have executed some of the stacks. I'm going to delete all these stacks because we are not going to use it. I have deleted all my stacks. We are going to create a new stack to create a new stack we first create a template so you can design a template this is the option you can choose or else you can go with the create new stack and if you have already have a design a template you can upload it i'm going with the create a new stack sorry i want to design a template so design a template here i'm going to write a template we have already written a template that I just uh, uh, copied over here and it is a ML format and you can validate your code by selecting validate, validate your template. So our template is valid now and with the template you can create the stack by choosing this option. So now we are creating a template, sorry stack and while creating your stack the template must be in the AWS uh, cloud itself. That's why it is going to create an S3 bucket and upload our cloud formation template onto S3 bucket. Once you have created, you can go and view that one in your S3 bucket also. So next thing, I'm going to give it as a demo stack. And uh, I'm not going to choose any of this option. And the next step, I'm create a stack. So now I am I have created a stack and I'm just refreshing. This is a terminated instance. 
Now my stack is going to create an EC2 instance. And if you see here, it is creating a EC2 instance with 5A89 uh, AMI it has taken and Mumbai it is used. That's how the instance has been get created by using the cloud formation template. Now what I will do is once it is launched, I'm going to change the instance type. Currently it is on the, uh, sorry, key pairing. Currently it is using Mumbai key. I want to uh, use uh, some project name, so I will create a key pair and I'm going to change the key pair name as a new key pair. All right, let's do that. So in my uh, key pairs, I have Mumbai key as well as demo key. Now I want to change it to the demo key. So let's take demo key. And uh, this template has been completed successfully. That's why we could able to see our EC2 instance. And also you can uh, review your uh, events by selecting your template. You can see here it has been created a stack and the web server that is what we have given uh, while creating our template and it has been successfully created our EC2 instance. Now what I want to do is I want to update my template with my key pair. So for that we are going to choose the option called update stack. If you do this update stack, uh, it is one of the best feature which we have in the cloud formation template. Uh, whatever resources are there, it will keep and whatever updates you are going to do, those updates it takes and uh, it is going to update in your infrastructure. So that the changes can be implemented uh, successfully and everything will be tracked under your template. Now I'm modifying our Mumbai key name with the demo key and let me validate it. It is a best practice that each and every time whenever you are modifying your work template, validate your work template. And now I want to create the, modify my existing stack, nothing but existing environment I am modifying through just uh, through the template. And it is demo stack. And uh, if it identifies any changes, it is going to give the changes. Now you can see here, pre Preview your changes. Yes, the template has been modified. Okay, the replacement, it is going to replace our EC2 instance. So for demo purpose, I'm changing the key pair, but it is not a best practice because it terminates your EC2 instance and create a new EC2 instance. And also you can update your security group. That is not a disruptive and there is no issue. So I just want to show you because whenever you change your key pair, it is going to create a new instance, right? So if you see here, our instance ID is 82CF. It ends with 82CF and we'll see after it, it creates a new instance. You can see here, it is creating a new instance, nothing but our updated key and it should terminate this instance. Okay, if you see, observe here, it is deleting progress, nothing but it is deleting your old EC2 instance. So be careful, whatever data you have stored under this uh, EC2 instance, you are going to lose it. So it is always best practice that don't change your key pair with the stack. But still, you can do the other changes, whatever you want to modify in your infrastructure. That is the advantage with the cloud formation template and the changes are has been tracked now whatever updated stack is there template is there that has been updated in my s3 bucket and so i can come to know that what modifications i have done in, from previous version to current version template those changes get reflected in your infrastructure all right that's all for uh, uh, this video and uh, hope this video helps you and see you in next video and uh, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to watch this kind of videos more. Thank you. See you in the next video.